What's up guys, there's about a thousand reasons why a person might feel tired all the time. And this is not the only one, but today we're talking about Hashimoto's hypothyroiditis, or hypothyroidism. It has to do with a deficiency of the thyroid hormone. And the other hundreds of reasons why you might feel tired could be your genetics, other disease states, diet, your sleep, stress, so on and so forth. But since we're talking about Hashimoto's today, let's talk about the main reason why it happens and what can you do to make it better. Remember, this is not a medical advice. If you're in doubt, always talk to your doctor to get a diagnosis. Let's pretend that this is our guy, Sam. He's a pretty healthy guy, but he feels tired all the time. And it turns out that Sam, well, he has a thyroid gland in his neck, which is located here. It turns out that he has low levels of the thyroid hormone. What could cause it? Many reasons. One of them is that his immune system made a huge mistake. Your immune system lives inside your blood vessels and mainly also lives in your lymph nodes. Now, what happens is that the immune system thinks that Sam's thyroid is a foreign body. Something happened along the lines of uh, during his life, uh, his immune system realized, normally your immune system is actually trained to not recognize your own body. But something happened, maybe some kind of an infection, some kind of an epitope, like a little thingy that's sticking out of a, of a virus, for example. Let's say if you get a viral infection, comes into your body, your immune system attacks it, and then it gets retrained to recognize this thing. But this thing is really similar to the thing that's sticking out of your thyroid cells. Now, your thyroid cells control your entire metabolism. The majority of your metabolism in your body is controlled by this guy and it produces a hormone. Uh, now, w guess what happens? Your immune system attacks your thyroid cells, it kills them off, let's say it killed off some percent of it. Well, you are no longer producing the hormone, uh, the thyroid hormone, and uh, it's TH3, the TH4, and so on and so forth. And because you're not producing enough thyroid hormone, your cells aren't getting the signal uh, that they need in order to proceed. Uh, think of your cells as, um, well, the cells operate, um, they have their own functions and so on and so forth, but your brain sends a signal to the thyroid gland, which then sends a signal to, you, to your cells to either accelerate them or decelerate them and regulate other functions. So I'm not gonna really get into the gorgeous detail, but basically think about you driving your car and then you have the pedal, you have the acceleration pedal, and then you have the brake pedal. So imagine the thyroid hormone regulating this acceleration and the brake during the day. What happens is when you have a low level of thyroid hormone, you're not getting enough signal. Imagine you're trying to hit the brakes in your car and you're not being able to, or imagine being able to hit the accelerator but you're not being able to because your leg's not working, your foot's not working. So this is really similar to that. As a result of this attack on your thyroid gland, your thyroid gland becomes bigger. It tries to compensate. And as it gets bigger, it's called the goiter. You've probably seen people. Let me show you a picture. Okay, this is Google. And uh, see, you've probably seen people who have a goiter. It's, it's an enlarged thyroid. See, uh, an enlarged portion of their neck. That's because the thyroid gland is reacting to, that, to the attack. And going, it's going from this side. This process happens gradually, so you may not feel it in the beginning, but the th as the thyroid levels drop, your cell metabolic function drops as well. What do people do? Now, in the, the worst case scenario, the thyroid is no longer producing uh, the hormones that it needs to produce for the cells to operate. So it's kind of nice that we live at a time where we can actually replace these hormones. And uh, you must have heard, if you know somebody who's, uh, who has uh, uh, hypothyroidism, they're probably taking what's called, one of the drugs is called levothyroxine. It's basically a replacement for your natural hormone. And it comes in micrograms, not even milligrams, micrograms. We're talking 75 or 72 or, yeah, so on and so forth, micrograms of this uh, substance that you need per day. It's a very small amount that you need, but it's very, very crucial. Uh, for you to operate. Now, now if the person gets diagnosed with uh, hypothyroidism, and as long as it's not cancerous, as long as it's benign as well, uh, then they're given levothyroxine or other medications of that sort to replace 
the missing thyroid hormone so your cells can operate well. And that is it. Uh, the dose can be increased uh, as the levels drop. And um, finally, you know, at the word, like I said, at the worst case scenario, the thyroid loses completely its residual function. It loses the ability to produce uh, its uh, hormones. And uh, then the person then, then becomes completely dependent on the thyroid hormone, exogenous, on the one that's given from the outside as a pill. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is a very quick video that I've made. I wasn't really planning on making a YouTube video, but some of you guys have asked to make a YouTube video. Uh, if this goes well, if we get enough people to join the YouTube channel, uh, I can make really high quality videos. Uh, if you guys do want it, let me know, follow, and share this video with friends. And thank you so much. If you came from Tech Talk or if you came from YouTube, I really appreciate you. Uh, we also have a Tech Talk community. Uh, follow us there as well for daily videos. But yeah, thanks very much. And I'll see you.